Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in one of the purest of white light and pray that you stay on it in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemies is stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. All right, so before I sat down to do this read, I heard something about how do you make a judgment in someone's life without them being there physically or without their input. So I feel like there was something that was done in like the court system because the justice card has been showing up a lot. And I feel like that has to do with the fact that something was done illegally in the court system that may have negatively affected somebody. So somebody made some type of decision either to have something taken from you or to have some type of hold on you, some type of blockage, something like that. Okay. And... I guess basically what it is is that the spirit is saying how are they how did they make this decision to have something taken away from you without you being there physically or without your consent, which means that something was stolen from you. There could have been some type of property, some type of abundance, some type of wealth stolen from somebody, and maybe your signature was forged on a document, um, and people tried to act like you were okay with it. You uh, you, you didn't mind them having something. So if like, somebody stole a house, land, property, they're trying to make it seem like you were okay with it and you signed, signed uh, uh, the, the, the paperwork and said that they could have it when you didn't. There's some type of malicious operation that took place where it's that somebody got a group of people or an older gentleman to help her steal something in the court system. Okay? Um, so... There could be something, this Queen of Pentacles has been showing up quite a lot, okay? And this could be someone that, I don't know if someone is like realizing that they took the wrong path in life, okay? It's what I'm saying. It's what I'm trying to, to, to verbalize. Somebody went about doing things the wrong way when it pertains to you. So I think this is a woman, maybe she has like access or to people in high places and she has access to resources that she's been misusing. This is someone that's been very successful in life. So this could be someone maybe that's being practical about a situation, maybe putting an end to all of her plans when it comes to sabotaging you or something because maybe someone is letting her know that, that she needs to let something go, whatever this is. So I don't know. Yeah. That she needs to stop paying people to do you something. But this is a woman that's not learning her lesson. This is a woman that's not learning her lesson. Um, it's like she... Like someone thinks being practical is weakness. She thinks being practical is weakness. So, in her situation, she's coming after you, trying to destroy you, and she feels like if she stops doing that, then she's being weak. But it's like you, you're coming after someone, you're, you're doing wrong. Like, this is somebody that, that, that feels like being fair is unfair. So, she would get what she wants by any means necessary, and I don't think people quite understand how dangerous that this woman is around them. She said, by any means necessary, I'm going to get what it is I want. You're not going to get what you want in this scenario. Someone is feeling to learn the lessons in the situation. Someone is not improving. This is someone that's very greedy. Does things like for the look of it. Very superficial. Uh, this is someone that's into like luxury. Doesn't want to have to work for it. It should just be handed to her. Like she just puts her hand out and it, it just appears in there. It's something like that. Huh. 
and this is yeah whatever plans i don't know maybe someone had a plan on pitting a queen of swords reverse to do you something i don't know what this is okay i'm saying that lightly scarcely maybe she's being practical about a situation this queen of pentacles i'm just gonna be like open-minded here because whatever this energy of a person is i've been picking up on is ridiculous Maybe someone is choosing not to put an end to causing you endings, to causing you whatever this is. To paying a queen of swords to do you something. Because whatever it is, it's not going accordingly. It's like, I need you to stop this person. I need you to lie about this person. I need you to defend this person. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. But they said whatever they're doing, it's not getting, it's not returning the, it's not giving the kind of return that they want on investment. So is that every day they're spending money to destroy you, but the money is just going down the drain. Like there, there are people in this community where it's that money is literally they just going through their hands. They said they can't keep track of where their money is going. There's a gentleman that's going through that. Is that every day he wakes up, money's gone. Like it's just leaping He's your way. <laughs> That he don't know what's happening to his money. And this is somebody that used to be stable and secure in life. But like now his money is just disappearing. It's like he, he it's like you know how sometimes you like you have money and you got this problem, you got this problem, you buy this, you buy that, pay for this, pay for that, before you know what the money is gone, but you don't know where the money went. Like it just like somebody's losing a lot of money. It could be an entire family that's going through this. Like, they're losing a lot of money. So, somebody may not be able to pay a queen of a uh, uh, source anymore to not tell the truth, to not do something, uh, to not block someone. I don't know what this part is, but I feel like there's something where it's like a queen of pentacles is either not paying a queen of source anymore or is not able to stop a queen of source from telling the truth. I feel like that's really what it is. She's not able to tell, stop somebody from telling the truth, from confessing. She's not able to pay this woman to stop her from confessing. She's not able to stop you from having a new beginning. There's something like that. And she's up, like, angry. This has been her, her obsession. is to stop you from having a new beginning. To stop you from having offers. Stop you from having opportunities. Stop you from being seen. Okay? Move in discretion. Because this, this level, I said move in discretion, split my deck, and it went to the moon. Move in discretion. If, if you have fulfillment in life, keep it to yourself. You're knowing everybody in life that want to see you happy. Hey, you guys follow the story I've been doing since January. Not, not everybody want to see you happy. And it don't matter if they're strangers, their families, uh, co-workers, foes, frenemies. Who, not, not everybody want to see Actually, a lot of the times, not people don't want to see you happy. They want you to be miserable with them. You, you, that's what they said, misery loves company. So if you are happy in life, baby, keep it to yourself. Be happy in peace. Because the moment you start exposing your happiness to people, they're trying to find a way to come in and penetrate their happiness so they can turn it into misery. It's kind of like dating. If you're dating people, keep it to yourself. You're happy in your relationship, keep it to yourself. Let your relationship be happy in discretion. I'm not saying let, I'm, not, I'm saying let, keep your relationship private, not secret. There's a difference. Private is, I don't want everybody in my business. I don't want everybody in our relationship. This is me and you. That's it. Secret is more so, I don't want people to know I'm dating this person. There's a difference. I'm embarrassed to be dating this person. They're different. Like, I want to use me as an example. I'm eccentric. I think abstract. Right? I do divination. Somebody that's not into spirituality, let's say they're interested in me or something, 
but the whole group of friends they have or family got a problem with what I do. And then, you know, we start dating or something. The relationship is private, but they're also trying to keep a secret. That ain't going to work for me. I live to my truth. Okay, I'm not hiding who I am. So if you're, if somebody is embarrassed because I do spirituality, we're not meant to be together. I'm not about to be nobody's secret. I'm not a dirty little secret. Right? That's what I'm saying. If you're happy in your relationship, keep that stuff a private and be happy in private. If people see you and you got a big old smile on your face and they're wondering why you got a smile on your face, tell them it's a good day. It's a great day to be alive. They say, why is it a great day to be alive? The birds are chirping. The, the, the breeze is blowing. Okay, the sun is shining. Everything is good. The end. Okay? Because they want to ask a million questions just to find out what it is that's going on. Just tell them, source is good. God is good. All the time. All the time, source is good. God is <laughs> God is good. Yeah. So you could be recovering collective. You're going through some type of recovery. And I think this is what people were trying to block. This woman was trying to block, was trying to get somebody to not speak their truth, not have a new beginning, not have opportunities, have you left out in the cold? Blah, 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 blah. She's been paying people to do this to you repeatedly. And now you're coming, you're, 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 you're taking charge of your life and coming out of the cold. And more than likely, nobody assisted you with doing this. You're still on spiritual business. You, you move silently. And these people are trying to move discreetly to sabotage you and you. Okay. It's a king of cups. Maybe you're the one that they're coming after. Be vigilant. You got people trying to stop you from moving forward. Okay. It's a king of cups in a community. You need to thread with caution. You got a bunch of narcissists still trying to take you out. And I mean flat out where you're not able to recover. So you may want to take action and go, leave, or whatever. Put an end to your uh, relationship with these people because it's a feel it's, it's dangerous. You're in danger. So you collective, you're showing up in a lot of your like assertive energy. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. You're coming out of the cold. You speaking your truth, sticking up for yourself, right? Speaking out. Listening to your intuition, moving discreetly. The, all of that has enabled you to come out of the cold. You did it on yourself, uh, on your own. It's like the battle between good and evil, and evil and evil uh, thought that it was going to win, and good won again. And that's the thing about life: the battle of good and evil. Evil is always under some type of illusion that it's going to win. Everything there is comes from the light. So if evil was the wing, that puts the light in question. Like, are you sure everything comes from you? Are you sure? But you go to the end of time, ends of time, the battle between good and evil, good has already won. It's destiny. That's how it's destined to play out. It's always destined to play out that way. Like, for example, you can do something to 100 people <clears throat> and get away with it. But you'll meet that 101. You can't get away with it. That's when good wins. For all those 100 wrongs you did, all those 100 people you wrong, that one good person that wins over you, it's going to dismantle you, like humiliate you. And that's how the universe has a plan. 
They said they'll let you do something for a long time. They want to make sure you get comfortable in it. They want to make sure when you're doing it, you are wholeheartedly and mentally aware of what it is you're doing. Because something is only seen, it's only wrong when you don't know that what you're doing is wrong. So they'll give you time. They're going to make sure you 100% know that what it is you're doing is wrong. And they want to see if you're going to change your behavior and stop doing that wrong. Since now you are aware. You know when they said, know better, do better. But you keep going, you keep going because you've, you you don't got away with it a hundred other times before. And now you're on 101 and the universe is like, this is it. It's done. This is it. Okay. You're coming out of the cold collective. You got yourself out of some type of horrendous situation people try to put you into. The universe is balancing something out and pouring into you. You could have some type of generosity coming towards you. Or you just got to move on with your life. Celebrate. Live a fulfilling life. Heal. Be creative in peace. Work in peace. Okay? Like you're recovering. And this is what somebody didn't want from you. You got a four swords to the ace of cups. You are recovering. You're healing. You're still loving. All your plans are going to be prosperous. Okay? You can, you can bet on that. And somebody has been trying to stop some type of decision, some type of new beginning, new opportunity, trying to cause you difficulties, trying to make an easy choice as difficult as possible. If somebody, if somebody is behind the scene trying to put an end to some type of karmic chapter, if somebody in there trying to cause confusion. But it's not working. And, and whoever, whoever this family is, is an unhappy family behind the scenes he said we've done this numerous times before and got away with it why can't we get away with it with this person is that that's how the universe had it set up okay and i'm telling you unhappy you will be meeting somebody and some type of uh, reconciliation may take place. Now, I don't know if this reconciliation is going to be something where it's that you two end up together, end up working together, whatever it is. It could just be something where you two meet, have a conversation, are on the same page, have clarity, and you go your separate ways. Okay? So someone may not be investing in trying to stop you anymore, take from you, because there's no reason to do that. You didn't do nothing to these people. There's some type of uh, uh, false narrative people just committed themselves to. It's like, I, I hear a woman begging people to help her defame somebody. Say, please just help me do this. For what? For what? Your enemy's plans against you are just plans. It said no weapons formed against you will prosper. It ain't that the weapons wouldn't be formed. I've said that before. So they can form all the weapons they want. But in the end, they'll know where they got to walk away. Because you, you are one of God's people, vessels. As somebody that gets upset when we mix spirituality and religion, let me tell you something. Back in the day, ancient times, like we're talking about like the Egyptian times, right? When they had all those sacred schools and things like that, religion and spirituality were mixed together. Somehow down the line, it became separate. Religion, spirituality, math, they were all related. It's modern day that has this uh, different perspective where it's that, oh, you shouldn't combine spirituality and religion. You're, you're serving the same God, the same source. Some people just call it God. Some people say source. Some people say it's a man. Some people say it's a woman. People like me say it's a it. 
right? Because God has to be non-gender. It is sexual. So it's, and a lot of the times it has to do with how you grow up. Some people, they're raised Christian and they're so Christian, they can't see anything else. Anything else makes them feel uncomfortable. I will know I used to be Christian. Anything else that didn't have to do with Jesus Christ made me feel uncomfortable. He said, nope, uh-uh. Jesus Christ is the only way, the true, and the light. Okay? So then what had happened to me? Everybody got a different perspective. I'm telling you, look, I used to argue people down on religious topics. So I found out the shroud is not really the shroud. The shroud of, of Jesus Christ. Okay, the one they took and apparently kept when he was what taken off the cross. And he rose again after three days. That's not even a real shroud. That's a freaking artwork somebody did, I think, in like the 13th or the 15th century. You got somebody else still planning to, to invest in stopping a queen of swords and it's going to backfire. It says it's like not knowing you're in the wrong energy and the person you're coming after is like light years ahead of you. It's like a kindergartner coming after like a professor and the professor sees and says, oh my God, this child is a handful. My goodness, I bet your parents just be tired. So it's like the professor's looking at the kindergartner and say, you know what? You know, they don't know no better, so I'm just going to let them be a bunch of narcissists. Coming after a queen of swords. These are people with egos so large, it don't even make sense. Ego is the, it's the pride before the fall. Ego is the reason a lot of wars have taken place is the reason a lot of families have fallen apart it's the reason a lot of relationships don't last it's ego ego is the reason a lot of careers are destroyed or never go anywhere it's ego you do something instead of you saying you're sorry or letting it go your ego say hey keep going don't 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 don't, don't let them talk to you like that you, you you're you're right they got you effed up but it's like the whole time you're the one that's been taking action against somebody. So how do that person got you effed up? Somebody's about to confess. Whoever, one of your public enemy number uno, those tres quartos. One of them is about to uh, confess about something they did when it came in regards to an opportunity for you. It was supposed to be like a promotion, some type of new beginning for you. They did something to sabotage it. Somebody's going to confess. Yeah. And it's like this king of swords, the one that's been so determined to stop you from having fulfillment in life. This person is about to watch you come together. It don't got to be with the person that they've been trying to stop you from getting with, but they're going to watch you get in a loving relationship, get married, build a business, a successful business. And he's about to lose everything. Someone, someone likes the final things in life and he don't care how he gets it. So the truth is coming out about this man. This is a narcissist. And he's very unhappy. He's very unhappy. This could be someone that's very smart, but they misuse their... Like, this is somebody that abuses their, their intellect. It's like they understand things from a different perspective. They see, this could be someone that like sees ahead. Like if you had like a general in a battle, this would be the general that sees like far into the future so he knows specifically how to uh disarm his enemies 
but he abuses his, his intellect. Like this man has some type of intellectual advantage to the people around him. You and this person are alike when it comes to intellect. Very intellectual people, but you don't abuse your intellect. He does. Like this is someone sharp. King of Swords, Queen of Swords is a source. So the both of you are the same. Except the way he uses his intellect is unhinged. But he does it in a subtle way from behind the scenes. You would never assume that this person moves like this. This is somebody you see them. They look like they're the pillar of the community. They look like they're the pillar of the community. But this queen of pentacles has been paying him for a long time to do you something. <clears throat> And he's been going all out to get a reaction out of you. To piss you off. Have you in distress? Once you're out in the cold, <clears throat> he wants to wear that badge of honor that says he took you down. I took down a star seed. I destroyed that mother effer. Someone... Someone is reckless with their mouth, but you see them in public, they look all well put together. <clears throat> it don't make no sense. Like the, tr like the truth coming out, someone is like, they don't like it because then they have to see themselves for the monster that he is. Like, they, they, these people got to see themselves for the monsters they, they are. That's why they don't want the truth coming out. Because if you start hearing the truth about yourself, you'll start questioning yourself. You got to look at yourself in the mirror now and see what it is you've been avoiding to see all these years. It's a group of people that's been in a community that they do things a specific way. It's not a healthy way. But because everybody around them acts the same way, They've been comfortable living that way for a long time. Now you come around and you say, nah, that, that's not right. No, that's not right. There's something wrong with what you are doing. And you start saying something repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. And it's hitting them. These people didn't have hearts before. But whatever you're seeing is awakening something in some of them. Now, when they go to the bathroom in the morning, they look at themselves, they may think, oh, they may start thinking things that they usually didn't think before. Some of them don't even want to look at themselves in the mirror. Whatever's going on is the truth coming out. It was something that was necessary for all of you to see. And here. But collective, you're coming out of the cold taking charge of your life, the decisions you've been making to keep pouring into yourself is what's helping stop a narcissist or a group of narcissists from destroying you. And that's why we always say keep going. Don't give up on anything that you know you're supposed to be doing. I don't care what people feel about it. Ask them in their opinion. Op what do they say? Opinion or like what? B-U-T-T holes. Everybody's got one. Everybody's got one. Let them have it. It don't make or break you. It don't make or break you. It's a lot of disappointments, but it's like all of this could have been avoided if you all would have just left somebody alone. It's a woman out here that came up with some type of false narrative. And the whole narrative has fallen apart, but she wants to keep going with something. But while she's going with something, it's destroying her life. Someone is not even who she used to be. This is somebody that used to walk around faking her confidence. Can't even fake the confidence no more. You can see right through her that something is wrong. When something started happening, she will walk around pretending like everything was okay. Can't even pretend no more. Sis can't even pretend no more. energy all over the place may even be spazzing out embarrassed crying all kinds of stuff 
Why didn't you leave somebody alone? This woman was stalking people. What are you stalking people for? You're too old for that. She, I'm too old to be stalking. Never. Come on. I'm too old to be stalking people. You're too old to be stalking people. You're too old to be this vengeful. As you get older in life, you're supposed to be healing, maturing, growing, not digressing, especially emotionally and mentally, spiritually. You're too old for this stuff, all of you. I was trying to imagine myself getting online to stalk somebody and pull, like, cause, come on. Because this is what's been going on for, for seven months. Get online, stalking people, posting all kinds, kinds of ridiculous stuff on comment sections and things like that. Because this is what people do to uh, readers. Going back and forth with yourself in the comment section. Get on one phone, type this comment, get on the other phone and respond to the... Are you... What is... That's a mental illness. It's a mental illness. You're talking to yourself, basically. It would be no different from you sitting in an empty room and having a conversation with yourself and you're talking to yourself back to back and say, did you go to the grocery store yesterday? No, I didn't go to the grocery store yesterday. Did you take the trash out yesterday? No, I didn't take the trash out yesterday. And God forbid you're even doing the, the tune changes. Did you take the trash out yesterday? No, I didn't take the trash out yesterday. I got sleepy, you know. I kind of put it up and then waited till it was too late. By the time I realized it, it was in the morning and the garbage people had already came and they picked up the trash for the neighbors and, you know, left. So now I have to wait till next week. Well, why didn't you take the trash out? As I said, I was procrastinating. I waited till it was too late. You know you're paying bills for that, right? You're paying money for the services, right? Yeah, I know, but sometimes it's just so uh, annoying to take that thing down the driveway for it to be picked up. Having a whole conversation with yourself. But you want somebody to see you as wholesome, gifted, talented, skilled, the ideal choice, the better one. The fact that you want somebody to see you as the better one is the warning, should be the clue. You're not there yet. It don't make no sense to be this hateful, sis. It don't make no sense to be this hateful to the point where you'll undo yourself, trying to undo somebody. And whoever you're trying to undo, things are being balanced out for them by the universe. You put someone through a horrendous situation and the universe still helped them come out of it. And nobody could give. Come on. Why are you this hateful towards other people? That should let you know you have a problem. It's like the prop. You, you know when they say like the elephant in the room, but the elephant is so pronounced. Everybody see the elephant. You can't even hide the elephant, can't pretend like it's not there. Your insecurities, that's what that elephant will be. You don't realize every action you've been taking has just been showing people, I'm insecure. This person bothers me. Their light bothers me. Their wholesomeness bothers me. Why does it, if you're wholesome, wholesomeness will not bother you. If you are of the light, the light will not bother you. It bothers you for a reason because you're not there yet. You've been faking it for a long time. And now that your true colors are being shown, you feel some type of way about it. Abundance is coming to this, this light worker, Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Pentacles energy, Queen of Swords, Queen of Empress energy, darling. Abundance is coming. And this person is going to be making a decision to even keep pouring into themselves, even some more. So even if somebody don't have and they're still pouring into themselves, baby, I don't know what you're going to do when they do have and pour even more into themselves. 
Why do you care about somebody being married? Why do you care about somebody having fulfillment? Why do you care about somebody else being having joy in life, abundance in life? What does that got to do with you? Nothing. Nothing. Some people are having epiphanies everywhere. I didn't know that's what you, they were up to. I didn't know she was paying him to do this. This is a man, whoever this king of swords is, this is somebody that does odd jobs for money. And he's unhappy. He's disappointed. Because this is the worst odd job he has ever taken on. It was supposed to be easy. You were a queen of cups, but then he found out that you're a match of his. He said, oh, this person is just as, uh, uh, wh what is the word that he used? There's something where he's realizing you're just like him, except you don't misuse what it is that the both of you have. He misuses his for money. But he's realizing, oh, like, I don't know if this is my match. This person is just like me. They're just as gifted. God forbid you're more gifted than this man. It, it's playing on his ego. It's playing on his ego. Because you may be like a younger energy than this man. And you don't know what to do with himself. That somebody was trying to humble you in the worst way possible. So you can't. They said somebody wants to control you. Control what, what you can do, who you can talk to, where you can go, kind of money you can make, kind of job you can work. The universe is like, listen here, buddy. I don't know who you've been putting that off with, but not this one. But there's somebody that's a man that's realizing you and him are just the same. May even have a level of respect for you that he'll never verbalize. There ain't nobody ever lasted this long. Ain't nobody ever defeated, defeated me before. He's a practitioner. And you're just as gifted. Your endurance, your strength, your tenacity, this man admires it. But he'll never verbalize that. Oh, no. Like they want to take something from, like somebody want to rip something out of your hand. Say, give me that. You don't deserve it. But I built it. You don't deserve it. I don't know if this is husband and wife, the king of pentacles, and I mean the king, queen of pentacles and the king of swords. Or these are just two people working together and he's going to have to tell her it's okay. We're going to have to let go of this one. They've done, like There's something that's been done before. Whoever this king of source is, king of source reverse is what I'm picking. This person, this is someone irresponsible, very materialistic. Someone is not about to have like this is gonna be somebody that don't that does not have any like opportunities available to him because of something he's done to you. The truth is out about him. It's coming out about him if he hasn't already. And he's going to be having a hard time finding work. He's about to have a hard time finding work. Resources. and th Like everything somebody costs you, they're about to lose 10 times over. Go to this place where they're not hiring. People won't want to work with him. Like you don't spoke. You, your truth is helping you come out of the cold. So you have opportunities coming in. The, the gifts are about to be floating open with opportunities for you. And someone has been trying about all means necessary to block it. Block them. But the universe has other plans for you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.